A time of change. October. Crisp, cool, beautiful, and wonderful October. It marks the beginning of the fall season of the calendar year. Fall is personally my most favorite time of the year. The warm and lazy days of summer have passed, and we are now preparing to enter a new and very abundant time of year. As an attempt to do something new and different for my website, I have decided to do a video-only blog on the first Saturday of every month of the year. This hopefully will add a new dimension to the site and also give subscribers a chance to get to know me much better and to observe me in the many different aspects and geographies of my personal lifestyle. I am here at my home today in Spokane, Washington, in a very relaxed state of being as I always am whenever I'm in my own home. I realize that many of you subscribers have never heard me speak or seen or heard me teach. And so I thought it just might be a good thing for you to get to know me and my personality just a little bit better if you could watch and listen as well as read and listen to what I have to say. Hence, the first video blog now is coming to you on the fourth day of October 2014. It is the fall season of the year. It is the coming of the autumnal fall equinox. Life and things are all changing and adjusting. That is the manner and way that God created things to be. Fall is a period of great changes. Crispness, nippiness in the air. Changes to vivid and multicolored tones, shades, and hues on all of the indigenous vegetation. Changes in the weather and temperature, from hot and dry to cool and wet. The agricultural harvest time with all of its bounty, activities, smells, and sounds. The busyness of people as they prepare themselves, their families, and their homes for the coming winter months. Fall is indeed a transitional period of time. Nature is preparing all of its creation for the coming winter sleep. Up to this point in time, all of life has enjoyed a warm and wonderful time of growth, play, and recreation. But now comes the time for harvest, celebration, feasting, and fellowship by and between all of the people. Fall is a prelude. It is a time of preparation for rest and repair. It is a time for renewal and recovery. As nature prepares for the coming winter sleep, man, that of course would include you and me, needs to follow suit. We all need to recover, renew, recharge our lives at this time, our creativity, which is our thoughts, our work, which is our production, our rewards, which is our harvest, our rest, which is our renewal of body and mind. As many of you know, I am and always have been an outdoorsman. I love to hunt and fish. I could quite easily live off the land if I ever had to. That was the way I was raised and have continued to live my life. Fall always marks the beginning of hunting season and that truly excites me. I just know that I was born to be out of doors. 
out in the great wild outdoors of God's creation. Being outdoors is where I am most happy, most relaxed, and most refreshed. Fall is nature's season to display all of her radiant beauty. Sights, colors, and sounds are splendidly portrayed for all to see and witness. The weather changes, the leaves begin falling to the ground, and the wind flutters and rustles the leaves and branches of the trees and bushes as it whistles the warning of the coming rain and snow of winter. The fall season of the year is truly a divine symphony that is watched as well as heard. Animals scurry about preparing their food supplies for the approaching winter months. The birds are anxiously readying themselves and their young for the hard times of winter or for the long southern migration to the winter breeding grounds. This precious period of the year should serve as a refreshment and renewal of your heart and spirit. It should be a period of great satisfaction to you as you look back in review of the year and all of the work you performed and accomplished as it draws to a close. May I encourage you to take time to renew and reflect all of the year's happenings. Learn from your mistakes. Capitalize on your accomplishments. Formulate the needed adjustments and corrections. And then, devise your own plan to implement what you have so learned from your own review. Planning time is what you will spend to prepare yourself and your business for the needed changes that lie ahead of you in the coming year. Make sure that you have a plan for your own success in place as the new year approaches. Know what you're going to do in 2015, well before December 31st, 2014 arrives. Most of all, be thankful and be grateful for the life and the experiences God has permitted you to live and pursue as you enjoy this special time of year. This is a time of great blessing and thanksgiving. God loves you because he made you. I love you just because I do. Let us all be ever so thankful for everything that has come into our lives this year, whether it was good or bad. God's promise to us is that all things work together for good. Never lose sight of that truth. I think I had better check my wood supply and prepare the fire pit. It's right over there for this evening and some more time together with you. Peace and love to all of you. Papa Bear.